Why do many companies fail at developing a data culture? Why are they notoriously bad at facilitating data-driven discussions? In our research at the University of St. Gallen, we found three predominant problems why companies fail at data-driven decision-making. Number one, managers shy away from deep dives into data because of their analytics anxiety. They lack the basic notions of statistics and are thus reluctant to engage with their data experts. Number two, the data experts themselves don't give good overview on the data, use jargon and dive into details too much and don't connect the data to the decisions that managers need to make. And thirdly, both of them sometimes have what we call an illusion of explanatory depth. They think they understand biases in data, for example, better than they actually do. All of these three problems can be solved with a dose of data fluency. What is data fluency? It means to speak about data clearly, competently, critically, and in a compelling manner. Competently means to know the basic notions of statistics, the different types of data, and the different, for example, machine learning methods to make sense of data. Critically means to take into account data biases that may affect the data quality. To speak about data clearly means to visualize it correctly without distortions to give meaning to data. And to speak in a compelling manner about data means to use storytelling when it comes to data. So what does it mean to speak about data clearly? For this, we've developed a very simple acronym, DESIGN, where D stands for decluttering. When you visualize data, make sure you focus on the data and get rid of grid lines, decoration, 3D effects, and so forth. Keep it crisp, so the D is decluttering. The E stands for emphasizing. Bring out visually the key element in your charts. The S stands for storytelling. Make sure you make your data also emotionally engaging, surprising, and that you structure it into a three-part narrative, situation, complication, resolution. Make sure you connect the data to what people really care about, like in a good story. The I stands for involvement. People get data better when you involve them in the interpretation process. Ask them questions about it. The G in the design acronym stands for giving meaning. You can make data clearer if you use comparisons, if you make it concrete through examples, if you compare data over time. The N stands for the no-goes, for no distortion, for example, avoiding pie charts and instead using bar charts. Let me show you why. To communicate data clearly, you need to avoid pie charts because they are perceptually inefficient. They leave you guessing which segment is the biggest, whereas this is crystal clear and at one glance in the case of bar charts. So don't look too far, just use the bar. If you want to invest in your own data fluency and talk about data more clearly, competently, critically, but also in a compelling manner, there are three simple things you can do. First, get informed. Learn about statistics, learn about data science. There are great books out there to do so. Secondly, really understand the needs of the data consumers, but not only that, also of the data producers and analysts. Try to have conversations with different kind of people uh, in the data value chain. And thirdly, practice data conversations. Conversations are the most powerful tool to make sense of data. So make it a habit to engage colleagues to make sense of data, interpret it together and how it can be put into action.